my name is Kim and today I am going to be going through all of my yarn for the start of 2024. Now I've realised this will be out in February so it's a little bit late in the year but I haven't bought too much yarn this year so far so let's get started. I am hoping that by the end of this year I will have used a lot of my stash um, now you will see that I've got quite a lot. I'm not going to go through all of my whips or all of my planned projects. I am just going to go through all of the yarn that I don't have assigned at the moment and show you that it's a little bit of a mess at the moment. So currently this is where I store all of my yarn, all of my fabrics on top there. Um, and I will just open the cupboard of doom and you will see exactly why I call it that. So... At the top here is where I have all of my plan projects or I should only have plan projects and at the bottom is where a lot of my unassigned skeins are. So um, a lot of the projects at the top, the whips and the plan project, I have gone through them recently in a crochet roundup. To be completely honest, even though that was probably around six months ago maybe, they really haven't changed much so I'm not going to go through all of them now. I'll briefly tell you what they are and I will link the video below where I go through all of my whips and plan projects. So this is a jumper, this is obviously a giraffe, this is another jumper, this is scrap, they're sock scraps and they're going to go in a sock, crochet robin, and this is a bag kit, this is a jumper and I believe that that is yeah they are all whips so I'm going to leave them there. All of the sock yarn at the top is being saved for socks or sock projects so i'm not going to get all of those out um if you are interested or if enough people are interested i can walk you through them um, but i have a lot of hand dyed yarn so yes all of my whips are at the top so i won't touch them these are for a battenberg jumper same as these and this is a sock going to be socks so this is what I'm working with so it's big box big box of lots of yarn um, and I need to work out how best to sort it out because at the moment it's not really in a, a good order at all so oi, 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 oi. oh So my initial thoughts are to put all of my single skeins in one pile and put all of my skeins with more than one, all of my duplicate skeins in a different pile, um, see which one's bigger and then see what I store in the box. For stuff that's stored in the box, I need to be able to see what's in there. So just to show you the true extent at the moment, this is all of the yarn that I'm working with. So quite a lot. So I've had to change the angle slightly. So you can't see my face, but hopefully you're here for the yarn and not my face. So I'm just going to put all of the single skeins in this box for the moment. All of my duplicates I'm gonna put on the other side and just see how they work out. If there's more singular skeins, I'm going to keep them in here. If there's more duplicates, I will put them in here instead. So I'm just going to very briefly show you what I've got. So this is hand dyed, that's a singular skein. This is from Portugal, that's single. Um, I've got this Shetland Tweed Chunky, that's a single skein. Um, Karen Jumbo Ombre, that's single as well. Uh, knits Recycled, this is a singular skein. Um, this is leftover from Toft, that's singular as well. Um, this is singular, it's Sonia Jones. And this is, it's, it feels absolutely amazing as well. I have had to take my microphone out obviously to do this, so apologies if you can't hear me as well. Um, this is from Rosie's Moments. 
I know that that's a singular. Um, this, this is just brown acrylic. That's singular as well. Um, all of these are singulars. This is just a, a box of, oh, it's just of various different acrylics and of various bits. They're going to go in there. They're actually not all acrylics. So I don't know whether there was a reason they were all put together or not. I can go in there, that can go in there. This one is a singular. This is Creative Nature by Rico. This was left over from a project I did. Um, it was actually Lindsay Noons from Lottie and Albert or Curate Crochet Box. Um, these are two skeins of Rowan. I know that they're not singular, there's two of those. Um, this is Ocotex Cotton Yarn. Lovely colour. That's singular. It's another singular. Um, Melane. Melanie wool prints it's lovely purple and grey colours that's singular these are not I got these in France not the last time I went a few times previous to that just plain cotton pink um, I believe that this is singular but I'm not 100% sure so I'll wait for that um, Lion Brand jeans yarn I know that I've got three of those. One, two, three. They were from my um, sister-in-law in America and I've just found another Rowan as well. So that's three of those. I got this faux fur um, from the charity shop. I thought that it would be really nice to work with but it's so difficult to see your stitches. So I am going to make something but I just need to find the right project. So if you've got any ideas um, that would be great. So this is uh, James C. Brett and Chili Yarn. It's really soft and I've got three of those. Yeah. Three. Three. Oi. Oh yeah. Um, do, 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 do. Um, this is... Stylecraft Love You Aaron. This was on sale. I've got two of those. There we go. This I have two of. It's um, Summer Stripes DK and it is by Serdar. Now, some of you may be wondering why. Or how I got so many or so much yarn that is a very good question and the answer is very simple I buy too much I buy a lot more than I use so I buy a lot of yarn from charity shops and I buy a lot of yarn from second-hand sources de stashes which means that I get a lot of um, means I get a lot of single balls or single skeins because usually if you've got a crochet project you, you use more than one. This is some um, Lion Brand cotton. I think I've got two or three of those but I can't remember so I'll put those to the side. Um, yeah so because I've got so many single skeins it does become a bit more difficult to use them um, but I love my stash. And I'm not complaining about the fact that I've got a big stash. It is brings me a lot of joy. And yes, I've got a three of those. It does bring me a lot of joy. Um, this is Sheepy's Soft Fun. And I only have one of those. Um, this is also, this came without a ball band. But I'm pretty sure it's Sheepy's Soft Fun as well. Just in a different colourway. Um, I have two of the... Um, Raffia yarns, white and blue, which I'm looking forward to using. Um, this pink, I have no idea what it is or where it came from, 
This was a de-stash from, that was sent to America, my brother's house in America. That is a single skein as well. I have two of these Rick Rumi colourful cakes, they are absolutely beautiful. If I can find the other one. For the moment, no I can't, so I'm just going to leave that there. Um, this is a singular skein, no ball band so I'm not sure where it came from. This was a de-stash as well, snowflake blush yarn, snowflake bl wool blend yarn in tangerine by Yarn B. I've got two of those so I'll put those to the side. Um, this is a singular skein, this is just some pink cotton. Um, there's quite a lot on there actually. Um, and it is slightly different to this one, you can tell that they're different colours. So I'll put those both in there. This is technically one skein but I split it into two when I got it. This is from Fjord Fibres. And I split it into two because I was going to make some socks with it but I never got around to it so... Technically I've got one but I've got two in there. This is James C. Brett Rustic Mega Chunky. That's a singular skein so that's going to go in here as well. Um, this is hand dyed yarn. Now this is a lot darker than I thought it would be or hoped it would be. Um, but I've got three of those so I'm going to put those in my duplicate skeins. Um, this is just some grey acrylic. I don't know where I got it from. I believe it was from Hobby but I'm not 100% sure. I've got quite a few of these so I'm going to put those to the side. Yep, yeah, so it's Hobby. I love yarn. So I've got three of those. This is some grey acrylic, so that's going to go in the box. I've got another purple skein in my lap, so I'll put that there. Um, Valley Yarns, this is so, so, so soft. This was from a de-stash, that's going to go into my box because I've only got one. This was from Hobby, this is acrylic. This green I've only got one of, so I'm going to put it in the box. Same story for this one. Hobby. I was going to make a hat out of this, but it's not very stretchy. Um, it is from... It's Serdar number one, Aaron Stonewashed. Um, if you've used it before, let me know what you made with it because as I said, I tried to make a hat but it just didn't stretch um, and that was using sort of the stitch I use with all of my yarn, so put that to the side. This I believe is Thames Valley, not Thames Valley, Valley Yarns as, no it's not. This is a grey cotton, <laughs> no idea where it came from. Um, I'm assuming it might be the same as nip this Knit Picks. They look the same shade. Feel the same as well, so I'm going to put them in the Not Single. Um, this is from Rosie's Moments as well. It's a beautiful colour. That's a singular skein. This is um, from Catty Crafts. This was hand dyed. It's got purple and black in it. So that's a single, I know that, so I'm going to put that to the side. Again with this, hand dyed. This was from Sheep on Mars. It's a beautiful colourway, but I only got one. This is Knit Me Sane again. Beautiful colourway. I think it's called Tropi Club Tropica. And these were, there were two of them. It's paint box, cotton yarn, very simple, I'm going to put that in the singles. This, there was a few hand dyed that I've got. 
couple there. Um, they're singles as well. Same as these two. They're singles. Top one for us was from Sheep on Mars. I'm not sure about the bottom one, unfortunately. This is something that I'm going to dye some yarn with. I'm going to dye eventually. This is um, a single skein. These two acrylic, unknown where they're from. They're singles as well. This grey yarn, again, feels like acrylic. It's left over from a project I did. Um, and it's by itself at the moment. This was the second Valley Yarns. It's in this beautiful green. And honestly, the feeling of it is 100% uh, Pima cotton, Pima cotton. So beyond soft. Um, and then we've got some felt fusion. Oh, I've got some felt fusion. And some Rosie's Moments. So this is complete 100% cotton. And then this was wound from an old jumper that I, I got from a charity shop. So it's really fine. So it's grey and white. Um, and you can see that it's just a couple of strands held together. So it's like thread, if that makes sense. So it's five bits of thread held together. Or maybe not that close. So yeah, I, I've got a few a bit of that. I don't know what to do with it. I believe that it's cotton, but I'm not 100% sure. It's quite... I would say it's stretchy, but that's probably because it's 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 curly, so it pulls. Um, this is a singular skein from Sheep on Mars as well. And then I've got a few tiny little leftovers. Um, and then I've got some more here, oh my god. Just never ending. So this is the other... Um, one that I found. This is Rowan felt Felted Tweed. I've only got one of those. This is Handmade by Sewing BBD. That's a singular one. I got it because it reminded me of a duck and I found it really cute. This is acrylic. Some leftovers but I've got two of them so I'll put them over there. This is hand spun. It's super cute. I can't wait to use that. I've only got one. And this is some more grey acrylic, which is different. Is it the same or the or different to the one that I had? I think it's different. Because why would it be the same? <laughs> and just this cotton here, white cotton. And then this big bulk here and I've just remembered I've got loads here as well so this is acrylic um I believe that it's hobby no I believe this is yarn I believe that this is lion brand um country country spun something like that Homespun, homespun I think, in Edwardian colourway just because that's what it resembles most. So I've got one of those. I've got two of these flu fibres in Oatberry. I've got three, sorry. So they can go in my multiples. I have one acrylic red. I've got two of these Fildar Filrio Fildars I bought them from France and they were a really good price one euro for both so they're like black and white really cute, I've got two of those this is a singular skein this was from Hobby, this is rewound it's recycled from um, wool from the garment industry. 
I got two of these uh, Flambe 3s, made in Italy, Borgo de, de Parza. They're cotton. Um, I've got this yarn cone, which I it doesn't say what it's made of. I would assume that it's cotton because it feels like cotton, but I'll need to do a test. So although I've only got one, I've got quite a lot of it, so I'm going to put it up. And then this is hand spun, not by myself, uh, but I've only got one. And then these are DMC cottons, which I only have one of each colour, but because they're a set, I'm going to put them to the side. Um, and lastly, hopefully, no, it's not. Oh. Okay, so it's not, we're not there yet. So, the Berger de North. I've got five of those. They were, those were from um, France as well. Four euros for five. Bargain. Um, this is a bag, I'm not going to get them all out. This is a bag of mini cotton skeins of various different colours. Um, I've got a little bit of Mungo yarns left. It's in black. And a little bit in orange and the mixed colour. And then I've got a bag of lots of different wools as well and that is it apart from that's a planned project so so this is what I've done so I've got all of my multiples up here and um, these are single skeins but they're there for the moment and all of my single skeins are in this box so now I am probably going to sort them out so that all the multiples are held together. Um, I think it would be easier to probably keep them... I can't, I can't make up my mind of whether I think it would be easier to keep them in the box because it will be easier to see them or to keep them by the side because they won't get mixed up as much. Um, what I am going to use though is a lot of these plastic bags that I keep spare so any orders that I get that I get like a plastic bag in um if I can still use it I will keep it so I will um separate all the sock yarns all of the cottons all of the acrylics and all of the skeins that are not the same color exactly but they're the same brand just so that I've got a bit of similarity going on hello so it seems like it's a lot later than what it is but I have finally finished sorting out all of the yarn. So I put all of the multiple skeins in the box and I'll show you in a second. And I have separated all the rest of the yarn out as well into plastic bags that are just spare. I just wanted to add, in case I haven't said it before, um, I don't judge anyone for having a small stash. I won't judge anyone for having a bigger stash, etc. So this is by no means the perfect for everyone. For me, I find quite a big stash, both overwhelming and inspiring. I've always got yarn to go to. I've always got yarn that I can use. Um, so just a little PSA from me that you don't need to aspire to what I've got. And um, I appreciate that this may not be your perfect. So let me show you what I've done. So as I've said, all of my full skeins are in here. So I have had to sort of throw them on top of each other, but the ones at the bottom are all stacked neatly. So if I need anything, I can just um, switch them around. So this is one stack. So here, for example, and then underneath these, they're stacked there relatively neatly. So if I need anything, I know where to go. And this is in here, although although this technically is only one skein, there's um, 
a couple that are exactly the same fiber so there's one full skein and two that are similar and then with the rest of it i've just popped them in plastic bags so for example my um sock yarn so everything that is 75 um merino 25 nylon i've popped in here so that'll be easy to find this is cotton skeins again this is cotton in here and um, this is wool this is all cotton in here this is so i don't know if you saw but i do also have this um bag in with the rest of my stuff with the rest of my yarn even this is some beautiful yarn i got from my mother-in-law um i need to look for the perfect pattern to use this with um because it's just so gorgeous um this is from france so i've got 10 balls so I'm definitely going to make a jumper. I just need to find the perfect pattern for it. But I've kept them all in this bag because firstly, it's a planned project. I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. And secondly, they all go together. So rather than grabbing another bag for them, uh, they're sticking. They're sticking there. So that's at the back. And then I would just lay these down. So, you wouldn't have thought it, but this does actually feel like a workout. So, these are my full skeins. Um, I have left the labels out a bit so that I can see them without getting everything out. So, full cotton skeins, cotton skeins, unknown yarns there, mixed. Um, that's sock yarn, sock yarn underneath, acrylic, mixed, acrylic, mixed acrylic, and that's wool. So I've got everything there so it feels a lot neater now um all I need to do now is actually get to using it so I've got a lot of um current whips I've got a lot to get start getting through and once I start getting through them um I will feel a lot better and it'll be a lot more organized as well so if you are new to watching me I just want to say a massive thank you for joining me as I went through my yarn stash um, I know that it was a super quick run through um, that is because there is quite a lot and I didn't want this video to be you know three hours long I as I said before I will link my video below with all of my whips and my planned projects in it and if you would like them to be with uh, reviewed or if you would like to see anything else from me um, let me know below and um, I will pop the number of mini skeins and full skeins that I have below as well. Please bear in mind that even when I've got little ones such as just this one or this one or this one, they are all counted as one each because they all count as a single entry on my yarn tracking system. So once I have none of the orange left, um, obviously I will take it off. Until I have none of the blue and the green and the, you know, whatever it is, it always counts as one for me until it is completely gone. So there is a lot, but the full skein equivalent isn't as much, if that makes sense. Usually we judge them by 100 grams. Um, I definitely, definitely don't have 100 grams of every yarn that I count. Hopefully that's makes sense but a bit of a long-winded way of saying it anyway i will pop the number below of how many that i've got and as i said if you want to reach out please uh leave a comment below and feel free to get in touch because i would love to hear from you 
until next time, take care and speak to you soon. Thank you for watching.